I really like helping people and I think I can make a difference and help make the community safer. I'm kind of an adrenaline junkie and I think we all have self-diagnosed ADD so nothing is the same and I just think this is kind of the perfect field. I absolutely love it. Emergency Medical Services is basically a system and it, it's comprised of police, fire, EMS, emergency department, and 911 dispatchers. I'll take the cervical spine. And we're a small part of that system as we train for the medical component of the EMS system. For that, we actually cover medical conditions for adult and pediatrics, traumatic conditions for adult and pediatrics, uh, delivering of babies, dealing with the newborn. We do a lot of practical scenarios. We've actually, uh, gotten in the ambulance and we drive out to like simulated calls. They're going to focus on just basic vital signs, lung sounds, assessment skills on the medical patient, assessment skills on the trauma patient. Hey Jimmy, I'm Tim, can you hear me? Having to make a decision about a patient being critical or not so critical, that's all part of the knowledge that an EMT or paramedic would need working out in the field and we try to provide that in a classroom setting. I loved everything. Uh, Hennepin Tech is seriously like a home to me. Um, the instructors know you by name, you know them by name. You can go to them for anything. They completely make sure you are 100% prepared. And so it's not a shocker when you get out into the real world and it's a real patient because you know what to do. They just fully prepare you for everything. It's a lot different learning it from a book than when you're actually in the situation. There's a lot of going on and there's things that you might not think about that come up and it's helpful to just run through and make mistakes in a controlled environment rather than when you're actually on the job. One of the advantages that we have is that all of us here at Hennepin Tech uh, still work in the field. So we bring into the classroom a lot of our own experiences that, in my case, 25 years of doing it. So the instructors share their stories. So they actually tell you, like, I've been on this call and this is what I did. And they'll tell you what they did, but they'll never tell you how you should handle it because we're all different, we'll all handle something completely different. But they give you the confidence that you know what to do in that type of situation because anything can happen. So you just basically be prepared. For anything. We're very much aware of what's going on in the field of EMS and because we've all been around for a while, many of the managers and supervisors many times will contact us and let us know what openings exist. I basically had a job lined up before graduation. Now I'm every day doing it and absolutely love what I do. I think the biggest requirement is the desire to help. People have to have that desire to help others and be willing to put themselves out and provide care for others in need.